Hi, my name is Camila. I'm from Azerbaijan. I'm a native Russian language speaker and Russian language teacher. And in these videos, I will help you to learn Russian language with grammar and with speaking practice. As I promised you, in this video I will explain you the very important and quite difficult thing in Russian language about verbs. If you are familiar with the conjugation of verbs in present time, in past time, so you can continue watching this video and add some new things to your knowledge about the verbs. But if you are not, I uh, suggest you first of all to see this video about the basic rules about verbs before you watch this video. And now, what do you know about совершенный and несовершенный вид in Russian language? If you have never heard such terms in Russian language, you can search some verbs, uh, their translation in Russian, and you will face the situation when for one verb in English, you will have two types of translation in Russian language. For example, if you search the verb to read, you will see translation as читать and прочитать, which exactly translated the same, just to read. Or for example, if you will search the verb to wake up, you will see просыпаться and проснуться. Or if you search the verb, for example, to paint, to draw, uh, you will see рисовать and нарисовать. Both of them are translated the same, just to draw. But what is, what is the difference? The difference is that читать, просыпаться and рисовать are in несовершенный вид. And прочитать, проснуться, нарисовать are in совершенный вид. In explanation of this topic, we will mostly focus on past tense because in this way you will better understand the difference between them. And first of all, I will give you the basic uh, concept, uh, how do they differ from each other? Let's see all of them on examples. For example, how do you translate in Russian the very basic, very general information such as I love to read books, I like to read books. You will say Я люблю читать книги. You will never say Я люблю прочитать книги because this, is inf this information is very general. So you use читать несовершенный вид. Я люблю читать книги. Next example where we'll, we will use несовершенный вид. For example, I woke up every day at 8 o'clock. In this sentence, I will say я просыпался or for female я просыпалась. 8 часов каждый день. Я просыпался 8 часов каждый день. Again, here I use несовершенный вид. Just only one verb from this pair, просыпаться, проснуться. I use only просыпаться in past tense because this action was repeated every day. It's similar uh, too past simple in English. I woke up every day and here I say я просыпался каждый день because action was repeated. And next example, I was drawing a picture for two hours. Я рисовал картину два часа. Я рисовал картину два часа. In this example, I again choose несовершенный вид because there is a duration of this action and my main message to you is about this duration. I do not know any results of this action. Can you hear a result from the message I give to you? Do you know? Could I draw in a brilliant picture or I couldn't and threw it? We don't know. We don't know anything about the result of this action. 
The only thing we know is that this action lasted two hours. And it's very similar to past continuous in English language. I was dreaming. Я рисовал два часа. There is a duration. So, to summarize, if our action, our sentence is very general, if our action is repeating or was repeated several times, or if our action last or lasted any period of time, we will use несовершенный вид глагола. We will use the verbs читать, просыпаться, рисовать. And let's see, uh, let's compare them to those which are in совершенный вид. For example, as we started with the verb читать, let's see it's uh, let's see the another word from this pair, прочитать. I can say, я могу прочитать эту книгу. To compare it with the first sentence I give to you, first sentence was very general information. I like to read books. Which books? How many books do I read? I do not know any details about that. But when I say, я могу прочитать эту книгу, I give you information about the exact book and I give you information that I can read it to the end. I can finish read this book. I can go through this challenge and I can finish this book. There is a result and there is a finished action. That's why I choose совершенный вид глагола. Я могу прочитать эту книгу. Or, another example with this word, я прочитал эту книгу. I have read this book. Because again, it's finished. I go to the end. I have a result. I have a book which is read. So, it is finished action and it looks most like perfect tense in English. I have read this book. Yeah. Прочитал эту книгу. If I say я читал эту книгу, it means maybe it was repeated action or it lasted some duration, but I do not know did I finish this book or not. But if I say я прочитал эту книгу, you exactly know that I have read it to the end. Let's see another example. We had a pair просыпаться. Проснуться. Просыпаться was in our first example because it's несовершенный вид. And проснуться we will use now because it is совершенный вид. For example, in first example we said я просыпался каждый день в 8 часов. Because it was repeated action. It happened every day. But now I will say I woke up today at 9 o'clock. Я проснулся сегодня в девять часов. Я проснулся сегодня в девять часов. Why do I use here the verb проснуться instead of просыпаться? Because it is not repeated action. It happened just one time, only today. It's just one episode of this action. So, you can compare. Я просыпался каждый день. Я проснулся сегодня в девять часов. Я проснулся сегодня позже, чем обычно. And the last example. We said before. Я рисовал два часа. I was painting two hours. And now I will say in comparison. Я нарисовал. Красивую картину. Я нарисовал красивую картину. And it means that I have drawn the beautiful picture. In the second example, you have no any information how much time did I spend to draw this act to draw this picture. 
but you know the exact result that my picture is beautiful and I could draw it to the end. It's finished, it's completed. That's why here I use Narisaval instead of Risaval. And let's summarize it again. For such situations where the action is very general, where the action is repeated, or when the action lasts some period of time, we will use Nesavishenayit. For example, such verbs as Chitait, Prasipatsa, Risavait. And for the situations where the action is already finished, where we see the result of this action and have no, normally we don't have information about the duration of this action, about uh, have, it repeat, have it been repeated or not, but we know about exactly one episode of this action, we will use совершеннывид, such words as прочитать, проснуться and нарисовать. I hope that my explanation was clear for you. Uh, please give me the message about this in comments and if you have any additional questions, uh, please also write them and I will uh, answer them with pleasure. And if it's clear for you, let's do this test together. In the sentences, you will choose the proper uh, verb. You will choose between Nesvishenivit and Sevishenivit. First, which I wrote is Nesvishenivit and second verb is in all sentences is in Sevishenivit. You will uh, try to understand the meaning of the sentence and try to choose which one is more suitable for this sentence. And in next video, I will explain every of these sentences. So uh, write your answers in comments and in next video you will see which of them is right and which of them maybe is wrong and you will understand your mistake. Udaichi